Facebook, YouTube, the day of Jejudea, the archangel God, that re, I mean, or the archangel that rewards you for your spiritual labor. Nope, not fake. She's a false god. It's quick acknowledging false goddess on God's days. God don't like false god or goddesses. But the topic of the message, all right, uh, today is the 22. Um, now, the interesting to what today is, I look on the Hebrew calendar, um, is that today is the day that the uh, children of Israel uh, decided to create the golden calf. They decided to create another god, which leads me to my message. The topic of this message is the reality of God making. Yeah, I'm going to call it the reality of God making. Now, what God taught me personally, you know, <clears throat> is that, you know, in order for in order for you to make a make a God is this idea that we must understand concerning <clears throat> it says seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness. That word first, yeah, is a very important word concerning the kingdom or concerning whatever kingdom you're building. Excuse me. Well, you know, I met somebody at Starbucks one time and I told people and I told him about, you know, he had a, 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 a band on, a, a wristband on. He said, I am Sackett. Uh, it's this um, Christian wristband that says, I am Sackett. But I'm, you know, more likely I'm saying I'm going to put God first and I'll be second. I did. And I told him that, you know, we, that is in, in reality, every human being, once they come to the understanding of Genesis, the first chapter, uh, we're supposed to put God first because he is first. You know what I'm saying? He really is first. You know, before anything that existed, um, he's first that uh, people are not understanding. Unfortunately, Christians don't understand this, but Jesus, I mean, God is first because he was in the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. He is first. Reg watch this. Regardless of if we don't believe that or not, he is first. You know what I'm saying? That people don't understand that. Mm. Because if he is first, then we must supposed to treat him first. You know what I'm saying? If he's first, you're supposed to treat him first. But first is an idea of the priority of how we will go about handling things. You know what I'm saying? We will go about handling things based upon as what we uh, put first on our priority. That people don't need to understand, and yeah, especially Christians, because they will like to sing, you know, oh, I love God, I love Jesus, I love this, but it the the love only can come from the priority. You know what I'm saying? How we prioritize God in your life, and the only, really, the only position God can only ever fit in our life, the only position. That God can ever fit. But yet, unfortunately, people still will put him second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. God can't fit those places. People think that God is like in their life because they treat him fourth. They put him fourth and put everything else before him or something like that. Um, uh, People think that God has a, a, a say so in their life. Yeah, yeah when you put him first, he will have to have a say-so concerning, you know, uh, the things that you are going to do, the people you're going to be with, well, say-so about just about everything. Um, the thing is, we got to understand the idea of first when we understand this idea of God-making. That's, that's where it starts, at first, second, and third. 
And what happens is how we, God make, we put somebody or something in a priority. You know what I'm saying? We put uh, somebody first. We put somebody second. We put somebody third. Um, That's what happened. And then we put God, you know, fourth, fifth, and sixth. That what happened concerning with the uh, children of Israel, unfortunately, that is sad, you know, situation in that uh, uh, in that situation because God just delivered them out of Egypt and showed them him His awesome and mighty power, you know, and 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 presented Himself to the children of Israel, and the children of Israel was like, whoa, they was afraid of Jesus, God's voice. So they, you know, wanted Moses to be a mediator between God and them. And that God, Moses went to the mountain to get the law, uh, you know, concerning, you know, the Ten Commandments. And the thing is, the ideal that this situation, I mean, God just performed, showed his greatness, showed his mighty acts, you know what I'm saying? And they still... And they said because Moses took long, I guess, something like that. One of the reasons that they felt, oh, well, we might as well get make our own God. You know what I'm saying? Might as well make another God or something, you know? And the thing is, the you know, let's talk about the mighty acts. See, here's the thing that I love about God. God wants people to choose him based upon, of course, who he is. And what act that he has performed. I mean, if we just start to uh, behold who he is, the God creator of the universe, and the acts that he did create the universe, create every galaxy, you know what I'm saying? You know, we will kind of more likely see that this person should be uphold to a position of first. But if we want, but what Satan wants, he, he wants us to see, you know, from our viewpoint, that, oh, we're important, you know. Uh, what's, what, pretty much the whole idea of Satan's uh, plan is whatever you see, touch, smell, taste, you know, whatever is natural, it's important. You know what I'm saying? What, the natural is important. That's the whole idea uh, mindset that Satan wants to establish with people's heart, hearts and minds to keep everything natural, important, and, you know, forget about the spiritual God that created the universe and created you and created the earth. You know what I'm saying? Forget about that. Oh, it's you. It's just you. Me, myself, and I, the cursed trinity. Just you. You know, and the thing is, oh, yeah, one of the main main gods that be put first more than anything that goes on in this world right now is the me, myself, and I God, the cursed trinity God, you know, the worship of the flesh, the worship of trying to be me. It's all about me and me being better or greater than another person that Satan loves to deceive people with. That mindset is a mindset that people will live their lives trying to compete with other people to try to, you know, look great in the eyes of people. Um, is one of the most uh, God-making that uh, people love to make. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the top, top on the list. They make themselves a God. And, and, and it's easy because, you know, you, you want, you want to be, you want to be seen as great. You want to be a great person. Nothing wrong with being a great person, but it's the, the motivation of your greatness. You trying to be a great person to be greater than everybody, or you trying to be a great person because you want to perform great things for people. You know what I'm saying? You want to help better other people by doing great things for them because nothing wrong with achieving greatness, but the motive of achieving greatness that is the problem that is going on in this world that it, people are God making um, instead of understanding, instead of letting the God make and shape them 
to his image and his likeness, they rather and prefer to make and shape gods out of the things, out of the people and the things of this world is what's going on right now. And they're getting horribly disappointed. Yes, they get disappointed. Okay, the next uh, God making thing they love people. They love to make people out of a God. You know what I'm saying? They high exalt these people in television, radio, sports, uh, whatever, politics, whatever high and lofty position and whatever great things that they do and accomplish. People try to exalt these people to think that they're this great person. Uh, but <laughs> let me see here. Um, they didn't. Those people did not give themselves life, health, and strength. And, uh, the ability to wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it was provided to them. And naked, they came in this world, and naked, they leave. They never really uh, have that. And really, people never have anything. They never made anything. They're, they are a creation. They are a productivity of a creation. But, yes, they did accomplish good things. That's good. But that doesn't make you great in God's status because, unfortunately, you know, I hear uh, certain women, they, you know, exalt these men and and men do the same thing with women. And all of a sudden they find out, I mean, they get mistreated and uh, treated, you know, like a dog pretty much. And But yet they still esteem these people you know, that mistreat them and they're using them for what they can get out of them. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, people uh, put these people, unfortunately, a lot of people put these people in God's status. But when they find out that these people are not as God as what they want to worship them as, they get disappointed and guess who they blame? God, why you put, hook me up with these people or no, God didn't hook you up with your people. Your lust wanted to hook up with these people. God will examine the person's heart and what the person is all about and help you see this is the type of person that you probably not should want to hook up with because you might make them as a God. Yeah, moving right along. And the third thing they love to make God at is things. Things, things, things. Temporal things that... You know, that are here today, going tomorrow. They can be destroyed at any second. You know what I'm saying? Uh, things are one of the one of the most, uh, you know, and the thing about what makes things so much a great thing for people to worship, I tell people, is the ideal of you possess it. It's yours. See, that's what, to me, I think people are driven to obtain things and to worship these things because I, it's mine, 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 you know, all mine, like, you know, Daffy Duck, you know. Uh, yeah, they, you know, it's because it's yours and because it's something valuable to other people, of course. They will possess these things. It has a value that is valuable that people like these things. That people will uphold these things and think and try to take care of these things as great as it they think it is. But find out, bam, it destroys, you know, or breaks, or somebody steal it, as what Jesus was talking about, Matthew's, you know, six and uh twenty, I think twenty one, that the it can a thief can steal it, it can put moth on it, it can rust. <clears throat> You know, they find out that it's not what it advertises. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, they will get another thing. And they think, if I worship this another thing more better, it's it's going to last more longer. And it's going to fulfill me better than that other thing that love. You know, that I broke or stole or whatever. And <clears throat> still be dissatisfied. Still be never satisfied until... You understand that, first of all, you are Genesis 126, regardless of how many people and things that you make in your life. You're Genesis 126. You're made for God to get inside you, that God can make you and shape you 